So today at work, I'm actually producing a whole lot of video um, training material for people um, inside our team. And so uh, while I'm doing all that video, I thought I'd make a little video about this um, for people who uh, are not technical and they have no idea what I'm doing at work um, and what the people around here are doing um, in my team are doing here at Microsoft. Um, so I'm going to try to explain that a little bit for, uh, in layman's terms, what that means because, you know, you see video spots or, sorry, commercials in the TV that says, up to the cloud, and turns out we're working on cloud stuff, and uh, but it's not clear what cloud stuff means. In particular, what we do, so I'm going to go and uh, give you a little bit of an insight in like uh, probably five minutes of what that means. And you also get to uh, look at the back of my head with the bald spot over here. So um, that may be also something to laugh about. So what I do at work is the following thing. What is the cloud? The cloud is, you know, it's up there and uh, um, it's just far away. Mostly says, Software that runs somewhere where you don't care what it is, it's just somewhere up there. That's why we say cloud. What the cloud is, it's a bunch of computers. Very, very, very many computers. And you mostly don't care about where those computers are, and they're just in some data center, and that's a big building, um, or it's a big facility with a lot of containers in them. And really, you have your own little browser right? that sits down here. Um, that's where you sit, that's where you browse, and then you go to an address, and let's say you go to um, HTTP Microsoft.com in your web browser. What happens is that name resolves to some numbers, and we don't need to talk about what that means in detail, and that gives you to one of those computers that are sitting up there. And those computers live in that so-called data center. Um, and, uh, and that's really what the cloud is. So the cloud is a funky way to say there's a bunch of computers that are managed by someone. Someone puts the software on them. And, uh, and that's what the cloud is. The cloud is just stuff that you don't care about what that is, broadly speaking. For programmers, the cloud is something that's a little more specific. What it means for programmers is, um, you write a program, and then you give that program now to Microsoft or to some other providers. Amazon does things like that, and Google does things like that. So you give us a program, and we're putting that program on a bunch of computers. And now even the programmer doesn't need to know where, on which com what computer um, specifically the software runs. Right? Not only you don't care, but also the programmer does, doesn't care. Because typically, the program, programmers, or at least the people who install this, are really acutely aware of what machine that goes onto. So there's a physical box, and then there may be um, things that look like computers that are simulated inside of those boxes. But really, it's a thing you can go and take a look at. And cloud means, no, no, it's just some data center, and uh, you take your program and just put that into that data center. So that's really what cloud means. Now, there's this notion of cloud, and now it's also the question, um, so in that cloud, so you're building part of this cloud thing where people can run programs, but what do you really build? So we're building a particular little piece of that cloud. Some people run businesses. You may have heard of that. Those businesses are typically in some kind of building. They have some office. In that office, they run a computer, a server. That server has some data about their customers. Now, they also have programs that live up in that cloud. Now, a lot of customers are really worried about taking the data of all their customers and all their orders and all the things that are happening and put that up in the cloud where they don't know exactly where that is, where it's not really under their control. Not so much of a security issue, but more a thing of feel good. So you have a computer here and you have some program that runs on the computer here. And now 
That program that runs here now wants to get to that customer data for some reason. Um, it maybe wants to send you something, right? You go order, and your address sits down here, but to just stamp your address onto that order, it needs to go down there and knows it needs to go and get it just for that, um, for that uh, particular process, but not necessarily to have that data stored up here all the time. So this cloud program, which runs on some data center, needs to talk to this thing which talks here, which runs in the company. So there's got to be a way to talk from here to here. And that seems easy. For the, lay, for the lay person, but you may have heard of a thing called a firewall. And a firewall is a thing you put in front of your computer, and you also put that on your, this, there, you have your little DSL modem or whatever you use for your broadband connection, right? And there's another firewall up here. And then you have a thing called network address translation that also sits here. And the whole purpose of all these things is to avoid that kind of communication. It's protecting you, it's protecting your computer from someone coming from the outside and talking to you. So what we're doing in our infrastructure, the thing that we build, is a way to make this communication path possible and to make that communication path secure. And that thing is called the service bus. And that's what we're building. And the service bus is a piece of software. And, the piece of, and this piece of software that we run, also in the cloud, so that runs somewhere. It runs actually in six places different in the world, running in Chicago and in San Antonio and Texas, and it runs also in Hong Kong and in Singapore and in Amsterdam and in Dublin. And, and it's going to run in more places than that. Um, that, that, piece, that piece of software is creating that communication link and it's also um, doing work like storing messages um, that you want to send to, to someone so they can go and pick up those messages. So that broadly speaking is, is what we do. It may have been a little bit technical explanation, um, but uh, we're doing some really technical things so I thought um, it would be useful um, to um, shed a little bit of light on that and uh, um, to explain as good as I can this is a very technical thing to people who are not as technical but at least have a little bit of a notion of the internet because you found this video. <laughs>